Talks on this episode of Hit the Mahogany. I'm going to do a very, very simple cocktail. Uh, with a name like this, I actually think it could have probably been uh, from maybe Carry On Bartender. Uh, and if anybody knows anything about the Carry On films, they're from quite a while ago. Uh, you'll need to look it up, alright? Okay, trust me. Anyway, on this episode, we're going to be doing the Hanky Panky. Definitely with a name like Hanky Panky, once you check out what the what the Carry On movies were uh, out of uh, out of the UK, you'll you'll get an understanding of why I, I said that. And uh, certainly one of the uh, main characters there, Sid, uh, he or one of the main actors, uh, he said he had a, he had a very uh, uh, his laugh was uh, let's just say raucous to say the least. Okay, all right, Hanky Panky uh, invented. Early 1900s by Ada Coleman. Uh, she worked at the Savoy Hotel in London. Uh, her name was uh, nicknamed Coley. Uh, and apparently a guest or a, a patron of the bar was looking for something a little bit stronger. And uh, took her a little bit of time. And apparently this is the cocktail that uh, she came up with. And the name... of as, as I studied this one, the name allegedly came from the fact that uh, when they tasted it, they basically said, by Jove, this is the Hanky Panky. And that was the name that was given to the cocktail. So, here we go. Let's get knocking on with this one. Uh, gin, sweet vermouth, and uh, Ferne Branca. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Juniper Forward. I got the Hendrix here. Actually, we're going from everywhere. We're going Scotland, France, Italy. Uh, so, a bit of a trifecta going on there. Very simple. One and a half ounces of your gin. There's one. And a half. Mm. Hendrix is a great one. Really is good. And it actually goes well with uh, cucumber. So I'm sure if there's a few people out there, if you're already gin drinker, you'll know that one already anyway. Okay. One and a half ounces of our sweet vermouth. There's plenty of sweet vermouths out there to choose from. Pick one that you actually like, okay? That's our one and a half ounces of our sweet vermouth We're using the Dolan in this one. I think it was the Dolan? Yeah, it was the Dolan. And then our Fernet Branca. Uh, Fernet, types of Amaro. Uh, uh, Fernet Branco, a type of Fernet. Uh, so, Italian, bitter, digestif. Uh, you can drink the straight, uh, you know, there's a, a couple of countries where they mix it with coke and drink it with coke. Uh, so, what does it taste like? Well, there's uh, 27 herbs in it, various other ingredients. It's also aged for a year as well in uh, casks. So it's, it's very interesting, uh, to say the least. Uh, and it can actually be, I think in some cases, you could probably substitute it for... Uh, instead of using Angostura bitters, you could maybe try this instead of bitters in uh, Angostura bitters uh, in your drinks. So a little taste of this. Oh, that went down the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Bitter up front. There's a little bit of caramel flavour in the background there. It's very difficult to, you know, there's so many herbs in here, what actually stands out is a licorice taste there. And I'm not a big fan of licorice, but in here it's licorice and then there's a mint flavour coming through there. And I know that I think these guys actually do a, a lower alcohol, sweeter version of this. It's actually a mint type one, but there's still mint in this. And then actually at the end there's a sweetness that actually comes through. And uh, it's actually not bad. Bad. Uh, I think this was this was back in the 1800s. Recipe was invented uh, in Milan, and like many of the drinks that we know today, were uh, meant to cure ailments. And apparently, this one was to help cure cholera, and uh, as I read there, uh, menstrual cramps as well. Uh, haven't suffered from those personally, but uh, I know there's uh, 
people out there that uh, certainly have a lot of discomfort. The question is, I don't know if Ernie Brank would actually solve that for you. Give it a shot, but I doubt if your doctor is actually going to say, you know what, what you need? Get a couple of dashes of Ferny Brank and then you're going to be all set. Not likely. All right, since this is so strong, you're actually treating it like you would any other type of bitter. So you're actually just doing a couple of dashes of the Fernie Branca. One, we'll call that two, okay? Uh, all right, that's our Fernie Branca. That is it, that's all there is into it, okay? Now we're gonna get this one chilled down. Lid on. Um, I've seen some recipes where it's stirred, but the original one is actually shaken over ice, so that's what we'll do here. There's also some, I think some modern ones, I noted uh, uh, in the last few years, last couple of decades, where orange juice has been getting added as well. I haven't tried one with the orange juice, uh, but give it a shot, you know. If you're going to be using orange peels, you might have a little bit of juice to spare. Okay, let's get this one shaken up. Chilled, cold. It's a classy drink, definitely. Uh, so why not? Let's put it a let's put it in a classy looking glass. Uh, I think I, I saw a quote where it was uh, it was something that was equivalent to a you know drinking by the time you get to the bottom of this class the dregs of this classy drink then you're not likely to behave classy yourself. It was something like that anyway, which I thought was pretty cute. All right, straight, strained out, straight up into your glass. And that is gonna be a tad difficult for me to pick up. A bit generous there. Okay, garnish. Squeeze a bit of orange over the surface. see the oil's coming off. Let's put that around there. And then in we go. Oh! Looks delicious, doesn't it? It really, really does. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do something really bad here. Sorry about this. I can't pick that up. If I pick that up with essential tremors as I'm doing this, it's gonna go all over the place. So instead of the glass coming to me, I'm gonna go to the glass for this one. Sorry, folks. Here we go. Hmm. Oh. You know what? Some of these simple ones are just, they're just killer. They really are. Gin's in there. Vermouth. It's thinned out. It's not too sweet. And then just that, the, the Fernet Branca, it's, it's, it's weird. You've got two very excellent ingredients. And then the Fernet Branca actually just adds another dimension to it. It's not overpowering. You're not getting any, you're not getting too much licorice. You're not really getting too much mint. Uh, uh, it's fair to say though, as you gathered, I tasted the Ferny Branca by itself first before doing that. Should maybe have cleansed my palate beforehand. So uh, I have had this before without drinking the Ferny Branca before it. And it just gave a really nice balance to it. I mean, it's classy looking, isn't it? Definitely is. And the orange, not overpowering. Tasting with your nose, you get that smell coming through. A little bit of sweetness from that orange peel itself as well. That is refreshing. I'm gonna just use the word classy again. Classy, classic cocktail. Be enjoying, you know, that can be enjoyed, you know, just sit in front of the fireplace or at a very nice bar. Either way, you need to give this one a shot, okay? Anyway, thanks to Coley of the Savoy Hotel for giving us the hanky-panky. So enjoy yours, okay? Try not to drink too many so that you end up losing your control of your hanky-panky, okay? Mmm. Delish. Cheers.